Thank you for staying with us. We're still talking about the 2016 budget. And go ahead, just talk to us. Some of your comments and your opinions are there right on the screen. It is real-time live tweets as you're sending them to us on the program, and we're taking them as they're scrolling right on your screen. The hashtag is there, hashtag 2016 budget. Send it to Udoma Udo. Udoma is a budget minister and has been talking to us about this document that is in the hands of the Nigeria's National Assembly waiting for their consideration. Well, after this uh, break from their own chamber, they will be considering this strongly. But then, just how realistic? That's a major question on the lips of many Nigerians. I guess that's what you're talking about right now, wherever you're watching us. Uh, we're live to you from Lagos, Channels Television, the nation's news leader, and a 10th time winner of it. Television Station of the Year Award. Well, welcome back to the program. Well, Senator Dodoma, before we went on that break, I was asking about how we can fund the school feeding and just what impact it will have on the nation's economy. Because if you look at that, uh, school children, a lot of people have uh, estimated that it might be costing us just close to a trillion to, to feed the school children daily for a year. Well, first of all, you know, I did say that all these programs will be done in phases. You can't do everything overnight. So it will start immediately? No, it will start, but it will be done in phases. It's not as if you're going to be able to get coverage of every, every, everywhere at the same time. And also, we're going to work with state governments, we're going to work with donor agencies and all that to achieve it. But you know, the thing about it is that there's a multiplier effect. People don't realize it. If you do a school feeding program, you actually stimulate the economy. You get farmers guaranteed uh, uh, market. You know, so you're stimulating more people to grow things because they know they have a guaranteed market for it. So there's a lot of things which you end up achieving you know, when you do this program. So it's not just the money that is spent on it, it's the impact on the economy as a whole. Because the people supplying the food, the people growing the food and all that, they get money. They use that money, they buy produce, which are produced by manufacturers. So the demand for manufactured goods, whether toothpaste, whether this thing, goes up. The manufacturers now can expand production. Mm. So the, there's a multiplier effect mm in all this spending. Mm. People shouldn't just say it as just the school children. There's a multiplier effect. All right. Uh, uh, it's just a moment. Let me take you through some of uh, the MDAs, for example, because when we're talking about alternate sources of uh, generating income for Nigeria, and a lot of people will naturally think about the president actually talked about agriculture, talked about solid, solid minerals, minerals and all of that. If you look at the budget for these ministries, for example, let's take on agriculture. The Ministry of Agriculture, for example, in year 2000, for the budget that is just presented, it has a total expenditure of about $76 billion. But if you look at last year, 2015, uh, the budget was about $40 billion. So this difference explains to us, uh, can there be a major difference, a shift in that sector, for example, if we can get reasonably any source from it? Well, first of all, I mean, there's, as you, the numbers show, we're increasing our spend on agriculture. You know, we're increasing our spend and we're going to use that money even more efficiently. But then agriculture is not just the spending on agriculture that helps agriculture. The spending on infrastructure helps agriculture. I mean, people grow food, they need to evacuate the food. So you have to have a transport system. They need to store the food. You have to have a power system. So agriculture, we intend to expand agriculture and solid minerals, amongst others. But it is not just by spending only in agriculture or solid minerals. It's by spending on infrastructure that also helps to stimulate agriculture and stimulate solid minerals. But if you look at the numbers, you will see that the capital spend for agriculture, I believe the numbers yeah, the capital you spend for agriculture is almost twice. Is, uh, yeah, last year was, was eight. Uh, eight billion. What is this, this time year? around is 47 billion. From eight to 47. 
It's a major, major That's about 40 billion difference. 40 billion difference. But if you look at solid minerals, for example, yes. uh, we do not have so much. In 2015, one. that's about, uh, capital is about 1, one billion. What is it uh, But this time around, it's just about uh, 9 billion. Yes. I mean, We're moving it from 1 to 9. You know, th th let, me, let me explain something. A lot of times, it is not just spending of money. It's also what is in the head. Some of the initiatives which are being done in agriculture and being done in solid minerals is initiative of promoting new ways of doing things, new ideas. So, and we have exceptional ministers in those two ministries. You know, so we have exceptional ministers. We have Audi Ogbe, who is in agriculture. He is, his background is agriculture. He's been, he knows the subject. Now, Kaya Defy, everybody will agree, is a generalist. He is full of ideas and full of this thing. So I think we have people who can make a big difference uh, tell in me, those two areas. Tell me, uh, uh, Senator, uh, specifically, um, uh, uh, this got my attention. Yes. The Ministry of uh, Transportation, mm -hmm. um, in 2016, they will be getting a whooping to. 115 billion, and um, as against what uh, they budgeted for that ministry uh, in 2015, 29 billion. What are we going to be getting differently from transportation, for example? I, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you that even the 200 billion for transportation is not enough because the minister is looking at a number of projects. Right now, there is th there are discussions with the Chinese over the possibility of a Lagos to Kano rail and also a Lagos to Calabar rail. There are major projects that are being looked at. That money is not even sufficient. So we are going to see a drastic so investment in transportation. transportation. Rail, for example. Yes. Well, the, the Senator, let me take your attention here. The presidency. A lot of people have been mentioning about uh, cutting costs. The even presidency, the president himself has mentioned it. But if you look at it, in 2015, 24 billion was budgeted. But if you look at 2016, 39 billion. So it's a very small increase compared to. But if the president the said he wants to cut the cost of running the presidency. Have you looked at the recurrent? The yeah, recurrent the, the recurrent uh, for 2016 mm -hmm. is 19 billion, yes. uh, away from 20 billion of it's last less. year. The recurrent has come down. So the what are we going to, in terms of capital, what, will be doing, what are they going to be doing in the presidency that is getting uh, almost 20 billion? I mean, to run the presidency, even just to run the villa and all that, there's sort of capital things that have to. A president has to, a president, presidency has to live in accordance with a certain, there's a minimum standard, okay. really. All so. right. uh, very good.